today I'm gonna show you five most important style parts to change the look of your bike. Boom! This black box, the so-called black box, is in the game, which means one thing. We have a lot of sick parts in it, so let me show you what we got for the build. game plan we're gonna change the overall look of the whole bike the bike will do some squats and this ass will become a sexy ass the bike will get some horns we're gonna drop the passenger footrests and the last part is a super unique one but this comes as the last one so let's start with the build you just brought home your brand new bike and one of the best styling changes you can do to it very easy is to shorten up the tail. The, through the years the subframe became shorter and because of the regulation the tail tidy longer. The number plate needs to be parallel with the rear wheel. And on the market you have a lot of solutions with a short tail tidies. The problem is they cause a lot of issues with electronics such as cruise control, turn signal lights and so on. So our goal was to develop a tail tidy that looks sick and causes no problems. So let's mount it on the bike and let's see how it looks. Okay, tail tidy is on the bike, as you can clearly see it's way smaller, way shorter, nice and tidy and the angle of the number plate is uh, in a legal area and this is our premium tail tidy, there is no cable visible, nothing so we have uh, this kind of style of tail tidies for the smaller dukes, for the bigger super duke and also for Yamaha bikes and other brands so discover this on our website baggersperformance.com so this is now a sexier back of the bike. You agree, Renato? Of course. Thumbs up. Let's go to the next styling part. Once you get bored how your bike looks, you can easily change that and spice it up with our next styling part, which is the so-called sticker kit. With our graphic designer Dabarin, we designed tons of new, really nice designs for the KTM bikes and also Yamaha. And this is our newest one, the so-called Inferno sticker kit. That's our designer Dabarin, aka Dave. And he is designing, you're designing all our sticker kits. And before we go to the next styling part, I have a quick question for you, Dabarin. You named it Inferno. So please answer, why did you name it this way for me and for the viewers that are watching this YouTube video? We would like to know. <laughs> okay, uh, what really inspired me was your fire trick that you do on the shows. Really? Yeah. That's a cool idea, okay. Uh, that's why the, the fire element uh, is the main topic for the Inferno sticker kit. Oh, okay, so it represents the fire, right? That's right. Okay, what will you design when we, when you want to homage my stoppikis trick? So will be a sticker kit full of hearts? Could be, yeah. Uh... Could be, or in pink color, <laughs> okay. Also, yeah. Or boobs, or ass, okay. We will see. That's the story behind the Inferno sticker kit. And now it's time to apply it. I already cleaned the bike with a pressure washer, so everything is ready. Let's go. What makes us different than the others beside the design is also the rim stickers. Not only we cover the outer edge of the rims, but also we develop this, which is the sticker for the inside of the rim. So in that combination, the rims really look dope. Boom. 
Also a specialty of our sticker kit for the 890 Duke, it includes also the passenger cover stickers. So yeah, I'm gonna swap now the seat with this beautiful piece. Okay, sticker kit is done. Let's continue to the next part. The next part comes from racing, the lever guards. On the road, we are not really battling another rider, so they are more a style accessory. But I love how they add an aggressive feeling to the bike and uh, yeah, they look like horns. It's also an easy fix, so let's put them on the bike. The lever guards that we have here are aluminum and CNC machined, super slick, has some nice uh, style touch to it and super easy to mount. So just put it in. Fix it and that's it, voila, ah, one detail. We don't like that much visible bolts, so that's why we have this 3D sticker to cover it up. Boom, no more bolts. We have no passenger seat anymore, which means we can drop those passenger footrests and we're gonna replace it with this little guy here. It's a CNC machined exhaust hanger. It's a sleek thing, super easy to fix and Bogarish Performance has a lot of them for different bikes. So check them out and let's go to work. And we came to the last style part. This part actually represents my signature when it comes to building bikes. And those are those plates. Unfortunately, you can't buy them. They are prototype. We made it just for that bike. And we added also some style that represents the vents on the F1 cars and similar race cars. Uh, I'm really keen how this is gonna look like. Let's see. And I'm so excited, I couldn't sleep actually for one night. Are we ready? Are we we're, we're, we're ready? Woo. <whistles> Damn, that looks wild. Let's put this bike now in the daylight and let's enjoy the new style. <laughs> 